you can see the milk pulsating right into the right into the uh, tub here. Like I said, this unit does not have a pulsator on her on it. That is the cow's heart beating. And every time that heart beats, it's pushing that milk in there. As you can see, Michael's pulling that down now and he's stripping this last quarter out. So when it comes, puts coming down, and that's why we designed the uh, inflation shells like this, so you can literally see the uh, the milk come into them, and you know when they're done getting towards the end of being stripped out and done milking. There's no more milk coming down, so then go ahead and shut off your air and release it. We're down to the last. Just simply pull it down a little bit. The vacuum will suck it back up, and that's how we strip them out. Shut off the vacuum, push in right up here, releases the rest of the vacuum, and off it comes. And we're completely stripped out. Very important. I'm going to put just a little colostrum on this teat, give it a little better vacuum suction, I'll line it up. Turn on the vacuum. You can see how fast that's filling. Got a half a quarter already. We've been on there uh, one minute. Okay. Again, I'll shut off the air, got this one pretty well empty, and release it, and it drops off. See how that pulls right out of there? So there won't be nothing but a few drops left after you get done stripping them out on the end of it. This machine does not have a claw on it. It does not have a pulsator. Like I expressed earlier, the animal's heart beating. You can put a stethoscope right there on her bag and uh, that's what's driving that milk down. And of course we have full control over here with the, uh, the way we've got all the, uh, the vacuum in the air set up, the regulator and everything. As you can see, there's no discoloration. There's, those teats are not purple. They're just as normal uh, as they should be.